All right, so this is going to be. All right, so this is going to be a, a reaction to apparently um, a raid. Something about Area 51. Let's uh, let's take a look, see what this has in store. The FBI and U.S. Air Force are talking about the reason two dozen agents allegedly busted down the doors at a pair of Nevada homes. That was earlier this month. 8 News Now was first to report on the search warrant. Well, is it allegedly or do you have a search warrant? Because if you have a search warrant, which is what she just said right there, then it's not allegedly. It's what they did. I don't, I don't know if you you need to go back to preschool or something to figure out how to speak, but allegedly means inconclusive. If you have the warrant, then it's no longer inconclusive. Okay, dingus. Okay, I just I don't like it when the you know when news people try and do narrative shit. But anyways, let's continue. At a pair of Nevada homes that was earlier this month. Eight News Now was first to report on the search warrant served at properties owned by the owner of a website that focuses just on Area 51. Nevada's top secret military base, uh, Jorg Arnu, gave his. Okay. No offense to people. Okay. But anyone who still thinks <laughs> that Area 51 is the top secret base where everything goes down. Their bane, shing, might be a little small, okay? It's a little small. <laughs> that is the most unsecret thing <laughs> ever. We know it's where they test experimental aircraft. This has been known for fucking years from the government and the military themselves. So, I don't know. It, it just seems childish. <laughs> the the secret base that everyone's known about for 30 years. It's like, <laughs> it's just, it's fucking funny. Only on camera interview to chief investigator George Knapp. The website dreamlandresort.com has a new wry addition to its content this week, endorsed by the FBI and U.S. Air Force, a sarcastic reference to the November 3rd events that upended the life of the website's owner, Jorg Arnu. My life has been very much turned upside down by all this. Arnu has managed the site since 1999. It's a central clearinghouse for anything and everything related to the world's most famous secret base. There is absolutely nothing that I would consider classified or that I know to be classified on my website. It's pretty much the same stuff that you find on other websites also. And I've repeatedly actually stated in my discussion forum that if ever anyone has a legitimate issue with what I'm posting, let me know and I will take it down. Two teams of federal agents, more than a dozen in each group, bashed in the doors of two homes owned by Arnu, one in tiny Rachel, Nevada, not far from the base, and one in Las Vegas. They seized computers, phones, files, along with a wealth of personal property. But Arnu still has no idea what they were after. He says 40 or so pages of the search warrant are sealed. Probably a justification for the search, but at this point, I don't know what it is. Area 51 has become so well known and draws so many curious people to its boundaries that the public sometimes forgets just how strenuously the government defends its secrecy. I mean, it makes sense if it's a uh, militarily, you know, experimental aircraft and you're, you know, sending dorks behind enemy lines to take pictures like it makes sense for them to get pissed, especially if you did actually get some, you know, pictures of something that they aren't like, they don't want their enemies or competitors to uh, be aware of their uh, technological point of advancement. Like it, it makes sense to protect that. Um, anyways, we'll continue. I found 31 or 32 of them. Uh, so far. In the early 2000s, a friend of Arnu's, fellow Area 51 watchdog Chuck Clark, took us on a tour of public lands surrounding the base 
to reveal a network of motion sensors hidden in the dirt to warn the base when anyone approached. Days after our news report aired, Clark's Rachel home was raided by the Joint Terrorism Task Force. His computers and cameras were seized. Clark moved out of the state and left Area 51 behind. Well, yeah, once again, if you're randomly being a dork near a military base where they have experimental aircraft and weaponry being tested, like... Yeah, dude, they don't know if you're a random grandpa who just is bored or if you're like a, an agent from fucking Russia or something. So, yeah, they're going to investigate your shit. So, I mean, once again, not very outlandish. Um, sucks for grandpa, though. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. And more recently, when a Facebook prank drew thousands of UFO curious to the desert to supposedly storm Area 51, the base beefed up its already strong internal security, but also amassed an overwhelming show of law enforcement might outside the base to discourage any knuckleheads from crossing the line. The excessive secrecy surrounding 51 has likely fanned the flames of public and media curiosity, which is one reason our news website exists at all. What's the big secret, the public wonders? Arno says his attorney told him he will likely never get his computers and cameras returned, even though it's unlikely he will ever be charged with the crime. He thinks this was entirely about sending a strong, if vague, message. At this point, I don't know exactly what I'm up against, but... My best guess is that because my residence is close to Area 51 and my website, Dreamland Resort, is kind of prominent in the field, that I'm being used to send a message to the Area 51 community. And my concern is how far will that go sending that message. George Knapp, 8 News Now. All right, well... That was a uh, interesting little story there. Uh, I found that very amusing. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to say um, experimental aircraft, 100% correct. If you want to say, um, you know, whatever, you know, it, it makes sense for that to be that way. So I don't know. If you want to try and say the alien thing, you know, I guess, but once again, I mean, I think that aliens are at the level where it's like with the amount of bullshit that's been like, you know, the, the spotlight headlights that are, you know, just with the brights on pointing at Area 51 for the past however many years, I doubt that anything would stay there or still be there today if there ever was. So, I mean, I don't, the only thing you're doing is pissing off random government dudes who are flying their jet that goes 30 miles faster or something <laughs> like, you know, than the previous model or their, their rockets are, you know, infused with gooba juice and it does something unique, you know, I mean, you, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think that it's just kind of like, it, it's a fun thing. It's a cool story. Um, but yeah, I mean, if there was anything there, it's no longer there anymore, bro. Just think about it. But anyways, thank you for watching you guys. I really appreciate it and, uh, see you later.